Center point, Tanner Palasic. The faceoff circle on the far side puts a shot on, and a nice save by Abrick. Going to try again. That's Aiden Fink. Dumps it off to DeMarsico in the top of that circle on the near side. Brings it out to center point. Back out to Fink. Fink putting one off the post and in. He shoots and scores. The freshman Aiden Fink with his 10th goal of the season gives the Nittany Lions the early 1-0 lead. Aiden Fink is having one of the best freshman campaigns in Penn State men's hockey history, and he starts off the new year. Did not take him long to find the back of the net and put the Nittany Lions up here early in this one from Pagula Ice Arena. His first goal since November 25th against Lindenwood. It's been a little while. <laughs> Feels good to get back in the scoring column. <laughs> yeah, coming up. Goes back to Patterson, across the center line is Gadowski, who skips it in behind Granin's net. Now shuffleboarding at that one is Hong, who's tied up in there with Paquette. Now right out in front, and shoots and scores! Jake Hewitt caught Noah Granin by surprise and scores his sixth goal of the season, ties us up at one. Yeah, another great feed inside, and Jake Hewitt had a point blank. Fighting with Lugris there for possession of the puck. Berger out along the near points to Alex Servano. A little back and forth here in neutral ice. Baron Woodring puts it off the far boards, and a shot pass right in front, and into the net! Scores! Gives Army the lead. Beautiful pass across to Brent Kiefer for his ninth goal of the season, just like that. The Black Knights score back-to-back -back goals and take the lead. This is youth gone wild. Another freshman getting in on the action and Army coming out firing here in Happy Valley, Hockey Valley, but Army's trying to make it their house tonight. As Kiefer, beautiful feed from that far side and able wow. to hammer it home. Joey Baez with yeah. that nice pass to the stick of Kiefer across. And Granin was just left out to dry and tried to make the save on it, but just a beautiful pass and a shot by Brent Kiefer. And now right in front again, he shoots and scores! Army with a 3-1 lead. Andrew Garvey right from the slot was looking Granin in the eyes and poked it right into the back of the cage. All the momentum is going Army's way right now. Man, oh man, oh man. And just again, it's another point blank look for this Army West Point team. And this time, Andrew Garby getting in on the fun and just a think. And you were thinking, all right, you know, Army, they, they might be fighting all this game to keep it alive. You know, finding that early 1 0 deficit. That didn't stop their momentum, though. Scored three unanswered goals, and now. Looking good in this one, scores a goal! Simon Mack rearing back and putting it into the back of the net. Abrick couldn't get a handle on it. The Nittany Lions pull within one. And a nifty pass back to Mack, who's able to hammer it home and get the goal. That is exactly what the doctor ordered for the Nittany Lions. Straight on shot from Mack, able to get it home and now, man, the offensive fireworks, Jake, continuing here. Still in the first period, it's 3-2. Geneve and Kerwin with the assists. And for Simon Ma Close call for Gavin Abrick. Penn State looking to keep the momentum. Fink with a pass to Sarlo, but swatted away nicely by Zuger. And now wrapped around Army's net along the far boards. And coming up with it, Army's got a two-on-one, and the shot, and scoring is Baron Woodring. The freshman with his third goal of the season puts Army on top by two. You said it, two-on-one opportunity off the break for the Black Knights. Only so much you can do back there if you're Liam Soulier in that situation. And the shot hammered home by Baron Woodring, who becomes the third Army freshman to score a goal in this game. 
Wow, and just streaking up the ice right there, right over the left shoulder of Soulier to continue pouring it on for the Black Knights and their goals here tonight. Wow. I mean, we mentioned how many shots they've been putting on net, and not only are they putting shots on net, but they're finding the back of the net as well. And here's another one, and shooting and scoring! Another one, this time by Joey Baez. His eighth goal of the season and his second point of the game. Black Knights go out to a three goal lead. And this is turning into a nightmare for the Nittany Lions Army. Just firing on all cylinders right now. And Joey Baez last season had 21 goals for this Army Black Knight team. Hasn't maybe been needed quite as much with some of the offensive breakouts we've seen from Army. But there again, just another point blank opportunity to the left of Soulier, a lot of space, and Baez. The offensive whip instead of having Soulier come out of his net. And Gratton brings it up for the Nittany Lions. Gratton past the center line over to the far boards, tangling for that puck on that far corner. And Penn State keeps it in the zone, but here comes Army. That's Nick Hong with it being fought off by two Penn State defenders. And now shot put on and shooting and scoring. Max Itagaki getting in on the party. His fifth goal of the season and his second point of this game continues the scoring fest for the Black Knights, giving them a four-goal lead. Doesn't matter where you look, Jake. Army's got production from everybody. Six goals, six different players recording them, and Itagaki, as you mentioned. See who gets possession here. Ends up with Army as Stephen Willey clears it out to neutralize as it slowly treks his way out. Towards that top face-off circle. Nittany Lions go up ice with it now. That's Fink, shoved along the boards. And now shot in front, and somehow making it into the net. The goal <laughs> by the Nittany Lions. Looked like it was Reese Lawback that touched it last. We'll see who gets credited with the goal, but it looks like Lawback had the deflection, and if so, his sixth goal of the season put Penn State a goal closer to this big Army lead. Yeah, just able to wiggle it in there was Laubach, and this Penn State crowd finally has something to cheer about here in this second period after it had been all Army to this point. Finally, Penn State able to get the best of Gavin Abrick back in goal and chalk up the Trying to get something going here for Penn State offensively. They had that momentum just a few moments ago, but Army has been able to slow it down a bit as of late. Near corner, spearing away at that puck, and coming up with it is Driscoll. Just under two minutes to go in our game. 6-3 lead for Army. Interception by Kerwin. Takes a shot. And scores! Ryan Kerwin with his 10th goal of the season. And his second point in this game gives the Nittany Lions just what they needed. You give Penn State that many opportunities, sooner or later they are going to make you pay. And Ryan Kerwin, the junior, might have just gotten the goal that really gets Penn State surefiredly back in this game. He's in entering tonight. Six goals tonight for Army. He doesn't have one of them. If he gets one, in this third period, it might put the game away. Yeah, Ricky Lyle's such a potent goal scorer, so somebody to take note of if you're the blue and white. And the tangle for that puck ends up with Penn State possessing it. Geniev trying to get over to Mack, sticks with Geniev, shot off the back glass. Kerwin putting one on, and ricochets in! Brian Kerwin with his second goal of the game! Trying to complete the Penn State comeback there within one. It's a Kerwin comeback, Jake. Ryan Kerwin, the potent offensive weapon for this Nittany Lion team. Started out the season so strong, slowed down a little bit in the middle months. But now as we start 2024, back-to-back -back goals have given Penn State a chance. Once down by four, now back within one. Kerwin has three points in this game, two goals and an assist. And Geneva with the assist on Kerwin's goal, he's got two points in this one. Cool. 
to Bucot. Bucot looking to wrap around and almost completes it. Palasic looking for Genia but misses his mark. Kadowski fighting away at that one and sent out to the blue line, kept in by Palasic. Over to Berger. Berger puts one on. And shoots and scores! Christian Berger with his second goal of the season, his first of the game, and it's a big one. Knocks it up at six. Four unanswered goals for Penn State. There is no way. What a comeback by Penn State. Each team now with a six pack of goals inside the Bagula Ice Arena at Christian Berger with some hum baby on that one to tie this baby back up with 17-19 to go. Palasic with the assist, his second assist of the game. Crack open a six pack here, Pagola <laughs> Ice Arena. Now Fink ends up with it in the far corner. Fink back to the far point to Mac. And back over to Lawback. Lawback walks it out to the center point. And now he'll bring it behind the blue line and Penn State skaters will reset. And now here comes a push by Fink. Just him and the goalie. And shoots and scores. Aiden Fink with his second goal of the game. Puts Penn State in front for their fifth straight goal. You go all the way back to the two minute four second mark into this game, Aiden Fink scores goal number one of this puppy. And after all this and everything we've seen, Cole, oh. Sarlo on those far boards, approaching the 15 second mark. Army's gotta get something going quick here if they wanna tie this one up. They can't pry the puck though from those far boards. Under 10 seconds to go, shot put on by Godowski, poked away by Soulier, another shot put on, nothing going there though for Army. They have two seconds. Driscoll from the far point. Final second ticks off. That'll do it from Pagola. Seven to six, our final score. Penn State ends up on top. Coming back from a 6-2 deficit. They reel off five unanswered goals to get the win at home. Their sixth home <laughs> win of the season. They improve to 10-7-3 on the campaign. Army falls to 5-14. Man, Jake, we're supposed to be good at talking, but it's hard not to be speechless after what <laughs> we just witnessed here from Pagula Ice Arena. You go back to the very first game that was ever held here in Pagula Ice Arena, October 11th, 2013. It was Penn State against Army. Nittany Lions have played in West Point two times since then.